minutes or less i'm jonas and i'm tnt nine i might the explosive one and let's start the timer but ding tnt yeah um we went to the mall we did go to the mall how long had it been since you went to the mall we went to the mall and it had probably been i would say maybe like three or four or five years since i've been to the mall it was pre-covid yeah for sure it, it would have to be the, like the same time. Last time we went was probably the last. Yeah, time and I think I that's the last time I went to the mall too. And like, it's so random that like once every couple of years I'll just be like, "Hey, you want to go to the mall?" And be like, "Yeah, sure." Yes. Yeah. So then we yeah. go, and then we say the same thing every time we go. Like, who would go to the mall? That's why exactly does anybody the question. There? Every time I go, I sit there and I'm like, "Why are any of these people here?" Right. It's like the prices at the mall are more than they would be if you were to just look online. Right, so like the convenience is ordering online, actually having to drive there, yeah. walk around and pick it up, it costs you more. It does. It costs you the gas money to get there. <laughs> it costs you the time, which is invaluable. Plus the actual price is higher. Plus the prices is higher. Like higher. I don't understand. Like I like I did that with at least one thing that we were at the mall, and uh, and I was like, what the hell is going on? And I like looked up it on my phone, and I'm like, it's like 15 percent more expensive here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, like, look, I get it. The mall is an experience. Maybe they're really selling to you the experience. <laughs> I, I can, it's, it's so I mean, ridiculous. The Annie Ann's pretzels were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that have, in a second. But anyway, so they do have like the food court, which is like a bunch of unhealthy food put together in a place, and you know that's that's fun. There's it's, something about getting fat with other people. Yeah, there's something fun about that, like eating in the food court. And like if you have like friends and stuff and you go to the mall, it's fun to people watch. People, That's my favorite part. People watching is the best. Yeah. Like the only thing I enjoyed about that entire trip, besides sitting Tyler and my friend, joking, hated every second of hanging out with you, <laughs> uh, <laughs> was watching all the people. Like yeah. that, that is very entertaining. Yes. You get to see it is, everything, everything. It is every. There's every type of person at the mall. We saw a lady who was carrying around a monitor lizard. Why? I don't know. She held it on her chest, and you could tell she wanted you to ask her about yeah, it. Yeah, like, oh, my God, isn't your lizard adorable? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, she had it, like, nuzzled between her bosoms, well, but she, she had on, like, a full... She didn't have, like, a, a, like a low-cut shirt on or anything. It no, was, thank God. It wasn't, it wasn't like, one of those bosoms you wanted to be nestled in. No, like, she... Like, I could see the lizard just screaming for help. Oh, wow, yeah. In lizard speak. I, I feel like when I looked at her, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just going to lean into the calling this bitch ugly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say, I feel like her whole house would be the lizard cage. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Like, that lizard doesn't have a cage. It, I feel like it roams the house. Okay, I could see that. I could see that. But, yeah. You know, she, she cherishes her pet lizard. Yeah. Uh, we, what else did we see? We, we, saw, we the... saw a super thin young girl who was pregnant, and her pregnant belly looked like Oh yeah, I was gonna say we saw the fourteen year old pregnant girl. But her was... but she was so pregnant, dude. She couldn't Very. she probably weighed eighty pounds Very. and then she had a giant belly. I used to I used to work with a, a young lady who was uh even smaller than her and she had twins. Oh my god, dude. And she was like uh like her pictures went viral from her pregnancy because she had one of those stomachs that was like so big and deformed where it was like your stomach is literally half of your body. Oh my god, dude! Yeah. How it awful looked, would that it be? Looked painful as hell. Yeah, dude, right? And there's like no way that you know, like even she was even skinny then after she had the child, but there's no way like you know she's not just like wrecked. Oh, dude! That's... I guess I shouldn't say wrecked. God, Jesus, affected <laughs> wow. by that pregnancy. Wrecked. I love the choice of words. <laughs> Uh, I'm just but, saying, like, but here's what else I noticed about the mall. So we went to uh, you were looking for some boots, right? I was so looking we, for boots. So we went to a couple stores for that. And the farm, I think it was Nordstrom's. Yeah. That store is so big. Yeah. They had big, giant, like golden racks with like one shoe on each rack. And I was like, what the hell is <laughs> why? Do, like so much wasted space. The wasted space. Oh, my God. Like beyond. Like how much how much does it cost for that shoe to stay on that rack a day? <laughs> 
Right. Like when you think of like the rental cost of that square footage. Dude, they, it was probably, oh my God, it probably had to be at least a 20 by 20 area. And mm-hmm. they probably only had 20 shoes in the whole area. And, and like, that's exactly why I went in there and like I'm looking for a pair of Timberland boots and I see a pair and it's like 250 bucks. And I'm like, no way I'm paying that. <laughs> I literally saw it online for like 189 and I was just like, <laughs> right. I'm not going to pay the 25 percent markup and this is right. nuts yeah it was it was nuts but like i do like going every so often because like i do like i like going to like spencer's and hot t- just wandering around and looking yeah. all the weird stuff in those stores yeah. you know yeah um because yeah. like it's a different experience like if i would never go look at spencer's website and be like what could i find down here today but i like going into spencer gifts yeah. and wandering around for like 20 minutes not yeah. even 20 and minutes 10 minutes that. like and like the mall is good not if you're going to look for something but it's good if you're just like I just want to go and look, right? And because like we didn't I, I, we didn't uh, meander for two hours. But if I wanted to go kill a couple hours, there's enough weird stores in there. Like well, I don't think they have it in that moment. But those Brookstone stores that have like, used to have all those like massagers and all that crazy stuff. <laughs> there's all sorts of stores that just have the most random crap. Yeah, in so it. if you just want to go look for stuff, it's fine. But like. I went to another store and I was like, hey, I'm looking for a pair. I went to a Foot Locker. I'm looking for a pair of Air Force Ones, white, just white Air Force Ones. I'm from I'm from the north, all right? That's what we wear. We wear that in Timberlands, all right? This is what I look for. And they said they didn't have my size. So if I were actually going to the mall looking for that particular item and they didn't have it, guess I just wasted a trip. Yeah. Better go get a pretzel and hop back in the car and go home disappointed. <laughs> but, <laughs> but but let me ask you the realest question. Would you really be disappointed if you got the pretzel? Because that pretzel <laughs> made the trip. The pretzel is not worth the trip, no. Yeah, I would never it go to not, the mall for a, the pretzel. Yeah, it's a nice consolation prize, I guess. <laughs> wah, wah. They just hand you an Annie and pretzel as you yeah. walk. Like, there's a guy by the door. He's like, "Did you find what you were looking for?" You're like, "No, I didn't." He goes, "Here's a pretzel." Yes. And you're like, "Oh, okay." Like, yeah, like like a blowjob would be worth the trip. <laughs> you, like if they just had a one stop blowjob shop in the in the mall. Guess what? Mall. There'd be a line out. Mall the attendants would shoot out of the roof. Oh my lord! If there was a glory hole at the mall. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm just saying. You might want to think about this Mall of America. Yeah, I mean, the next de- step. You're definitely not wrong. But yeah, the pretzel does not equal blowjob to me. I'm afraid. But um, uh, but but we did like. So I I had mentioned to TNT that I wanted a pretzel because when I go to the mall, like I I really like soft pretzels. And I had actually never had one of those pretzels before. Right. And then and then as we're walking up, he's like, I'm like, I hope that ain't the pretzel line. And he was like, Why is there 15 Damn, people? In line? Another thing about the mall, this freaking Q size. <laughs> what is that? And it's just for the pretzel place. It's for pretzels. It's bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's oily bread. It, it was so funny because you're like, this line's so long, I think I might got to try one of these pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I came to. I was like, yo, if the, if the pretzel line is this hot, and I looked at every other place. Like, they had, like, ten stores in this food cart, in the food court. None of them had a line that even rivaled, <laughs> that even came person. close to the pretzel line. I'm like, I got to try one of these goddamn pretzels. <laughs> have to i mean and they they like and i'll I'll be honest they weren't that you could tell they were kind of old pretzels so they weren't like the best but they were still damn good them pretzels were pretty good (laughs) so good i don't know if they were worth waiting in a line that size but they were pretty good (laughs) yeah yeah uh, i used when i was married we used to make the home kit and dude they taste just the same Hmm. like not quite as good because obviously you can't like fold them right how you fold them makes Hmm. them taste better obviously and that was the thing i was talking about like if something has a home kit that means that's probably a good product. Because the only other thing I've seen with a home kit are like those pretzels, the uh, Cheddar Bay biscuits, yeah, right? From everybody loves those. Or red lobster. And then there's there's maybe like some of the uh, stuff from like Friday stuff. Like, yeah, but that's like, but that's like it just it's you're not making it from scratch. Yeah, it's just yeah. like here's some like it's the same crap they probably send to the Friday's restaurant in yeah. a frozen bag, and you're just cooking it at home. That's fair. But like, yeah, yeah. like if you're crafting biscuits or crafting crafting. soft pretzels like (laughs) like who the hell is gonna make something from scratch if it tastes like crap (laughs) like it's a video game mechanic like i'm just going out and grabbing (laughs) roots out of the ground like go grab a can of oil from the pantry (laughs) and and do your thing (laughs) so but yeah it's uh it's it's yeah the mall is weird very interesting experience (laughs) but everything's expensive yeah like every t-shirt is like 25 dollars Everybody there was under the age of, of uh, 30. Or they were over the age of 60. Or, <laughs> yes, okay. There Anyone you go. I like, like that. I like it's either that. like 20, under 25 and over 60. That's like it. 
I think it's odd, like how like we saw like uh, we saw couples just like sitting in the mall, just like hugged up, looking over a tablet or a phone or yeah, something. Yeah, there was yeah, I'm there like, was a, there was a nice gay couple. And they were cuddled up on a bench looking at their phones together. Yeah, and I had no issue with, with you know, whatever, PDA or anything. But I'm like, why is this where you want to do it? <laughs> Dude, I, I agree. I like, understand. I don't care. Yeah, Just right? go home. Like, why are you cuddled up on the mall couch looking at your phone? Yeah. yeah I guess, I guess giving... some people just want to show off their 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 partner <laughs> or maybe they just want to get out of the house man i guess i guess anyways that's all the time that we have for today's episode please make sure to go to the and subscribe for jonas tnt uh, we out